Hi guys, so today I have a few sets to share with you from uh, LDS Creative that they brought to HSN. They did send Zams free of charge from review, and of course all opinions are my own. And any links I have in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission for your purchase items to those links. I'm showing you these three um, items because they are already available there on HSN. I'm probably going to pair the mini slimline um, die here with the McKenna Christmas that I recently picked up so we'll see those play together but I just wanted to uh, let you know they do have the layered poinsettia which is a gorgeous set I believe I tried this one out um, previously so I do have this in my own collection but it's really really pretty so I'll link the um, tutorial I did for it but I'll also do a fresh one for this season so uh, the layered poinsettia is there available on HSN and then this set here oh my goodness Christmas floral. Excuse me. So this one comes with a photopolymer stamp set. Of course, photopolymer smells amazing, works amazingly well. What's really nice about this set is we have the dye. Uh, you can see the flowers here, the dyes. Uh, it's the most wonderful time of the year, warmest wishes, and it's holiday season. Merry Christmas to you and yours. So we have that one dye, but this stencil will color all these pretty little flowers and swags and everything all at once basically so um, it does have four stencils so you have the four different layers that you would cover, color these with and hopefully you can kind of see what's going on here if you want to use the same colors you want to mix and match like maybe do these red maybe this is like a blue or whatever goes with your palette would be really lovely um, and then you cut them all at once so you get all these four sprigs done really quickly um, so that's one of the other sets. And you know, I actually have a couple other things to share with you. I thought this was the only slimline, but there it's a mini slimline. And then there's other slimline sets that I'll show you just um, in a second here. So this one's the mini slimline with the basket weave. And it says two pocket dies. The way they call it pocket. She calls them the mini slimlines, like pocket pal type cards. So pocket size. And so we have an insert that does the basket weave. And then we have the outside edge that has that cute little stitching and a little scalloped edge and then they're showing you look at these little guys oh my goodness oh so cute with the little gingerbread um and it's about three inches wide a little bit wider with the metal edge you know um by like five and a half so that gives you an idea of that and then she also had brought out these and i say she i'm talking about angie the um owner and creator there of LDS Creative. Uh, we have the honeycomb cover plate slim line and I mean check this guy out with all the little honeycombs that pop out and how about using all these little pieces in other um, projects that would be really cute because you have all these little hexagons but we have like the little like bees in here look at the little stitching to make it look like he's kind of buzzing around there so we have a few different bees little like eh, like little honey like goo kind of thing going on really cute and then they just paired that up real simply with a couple characters and a sentiment really sweet on that uh, inspo there and this guy is eight and a quarter ish by three and three eighths i would say i'm looking at the metal itself uh, just so you have that info and this one is the fol floral foliage slim die and we have of course the outer portion and then this one has an inlay but this is really gorgeous because it also has a ton of little flowers and they have like little stitching or like a little hole in the center you know we have like a shadow uh, dragonfly and beautiful little leaves and all these fun things you can pair up so everything just has like a little extra something a little stitching that makes them really pop a um, little like floral swag background and then the inlay gives you that little floral edge or not if you just want to use the outer portion right with the little um, I say cross stitch like little X's there. How cute is that? And this is an inlay. It doesn't have an edge. So on this one, the way they pair it up, they pair it with a different die that cuts the edge. Or maybe they just use a piece of paper that was already smaller and then put the inlay on it. So you can run it through and it'll just leave that edge there. Um, again, with lots of the little uh, characters here, the flowers, and then just a simple sentiment. So what I'm going to do is grab my McKenna... Um, Christmas and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my beautiful McKenna Christmas kit here. I'm going to open this guy up because of course you can make a shaped card with the um, outer portion. You just kind of hinge it on the side and only let it cut there. But I think I'm just going to make a basic uh, card and then I'll just put this on top of it. So just so I can make a card base that clears the scallop. I'm going to look at those edges and see about what size it would be. Uh, let's say two and three quarters, and by the height, two and three quarters by five and an eighth. 
So let me do some math and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I am so sorry. I don't know, my camera just like stopped recording on me when I came back with my math, so we'll just do it again. No big deal, I just cut my paper down for you. So I'll just talk about it. Um, so, uh, you know, if you have two and three quarters times two, you know, because it's two and three quarters inches wide, that's about five and a half by five and an eighth. And you don't have to do five and an eighth tall. If you want to just do five, that's easy. So we have five and an eighth by five and a half. And on the five and a half inch side, we're scoring at two and three quarters, okay? That's going to be my card base. I might even cut a little bit off the edge, just depending because of how wide it might be or not. Um, okay, so we have that. I'm going to look through my McKenna papers and see what I would like to pair up with this. Um, because basically you're going to either have the thing with a little bit of see-through and so you can see paper in the back. Or you can do, you know, this whole thing on the top with pattern paper and maybe a solid color showing through the back. So I'm going to go through these guys and see what I would like. And I'll be right back. Shuffling through here. I think what the best pattern for this one might be this guy here. And so what I'm going to do is cut these guys out and what I'm going to do is cut this one from like a kind of like a tealy blue paper that will show through the back so just this one I'm going to pick something out of my stash that coordinates and then for this one we're going to take this guy pair it up with this and just run that through so of course when you have this in here you want to tape it down so it doesn't move when you run it through your die cutting machine and I'll be right back I'll show you how cute this is look at that adorable Okay, and let's just clean this guy out. Oh my goodness. Okay, guys, and look at this. Just so pretty. Um, so I'm just going to glue these two guys together, and I'll be right back. I'm holding this down really easy. If you wanted to shaker this, I suppose you could. It would just be a very delicate kind of what you can see behind there. Anyway, I'm just going to glue this on here. Like I said, if I need to cut a little bit off my card base, I will, but that's pretty perfect right there. So I'm just going to glue this right on top. Okay, so I'm just going to go through some of my cute little pieces here. We have Jet Puff stickers. I have like enamel dots. We have um, ephemera pieces. So I'm just going to kind of play with these and see how I want to finish off my little card. And we'll just have a cute little die cut card made very quickly. And again, I mean, we can turn it either way. I was just looking at some of these that are a little bit bigger, you know. So I'll just play around a little bit. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and see what we get into. Oh, I kind of like it in that direction too. But it's cute also hanging off the edge. You know, whatever is you like. So I'll just play around a little bit. And I will be right back. Okay, I just picked out a couple pieces. So I'll have this guy here. Or a little deer here. And then I did some really low profile dimensionals behind these snowflakes. So I'm going to pop these guys here. And then our little deer can pop up a little bit higher than that with this here. Okay, so I'm just going to put some glue on the back of this, stick that down, and then I'll put some dimensionals that are higher than these guys for our little deer. And like I said, this one's just a little higher profile than the foam that I used there. So he has a little bit, our little deer has a little comes out a little bit higher than the other pieces. It's just a sweet card. Again, really sweet background. Uh, I made it a Christmas card, but obviously the background is for anything. Uh, really, really cute. So thank you so much, LGS Creator, for sending that for my review. I'll have uh, videos coming up for the other items, guys. Just keep an eye out. And uh, yeah, so I'll have the links in the description box. Images coming up. And I'll see you all at the next one. Bye now.